Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to retrieve all the users from LDAP server. So, if you remember, in last tutorial, we have created our connection successfully. So, now I am going to create one method public and it will be our void method and I will give the name as a new connection and here I am going to move our connection code so I will cut all this code and I will paste it here so now I need to check this one okay so first of all what I will do I am going to copy this directory context as a global I will declare as a global now what will happen I am going to remove from here so now we need to test our this method so first of all we need to create one object okay equal to new app and here app dot new so you can see here new connection is here right so just save and run so if you run you will get here hello world message with connection so I will just run here right now you can see it's working fine so now this function is working properly so now I'm going to create one more function in that function we will write our logic to retrieve all the users so I'm going to give name as a public it will also our void method get all users so first of all we need one string I'll give name as a search filter so actually what it will contain it will contain like okay I have to search for what this object class like I need organization person so we need this one have to be inside the search filter so what we can do so just come and write object class equal to inet org person so please make sure like the spelling is correct now we need one more array of a string so I'm going to declare a string array as a required attribute so what it will contain so when we are going to get data on that time what are the field we required so currently CN and SN is there so I'm just going to use CN so I will come here I will give as a CN right after that we need one search control so just go create search control and give the name as a control and now we need to create object for them right so now we need to use controls dot here we need to set our uh, scope so what we can do again what we need to set here so currently it's kind of three type so just I will come I will show you all the things one is object scope one is one level scope and another one is search subtree scope so currently we need to use subtree scope because it is our hierarchy level now we need to again use controls dot this time we need to use set returning attributes so what we need to get like after return so we need to use our here require attributes right next we need to get all the users so what we'll do we'll create one naming enumeration and I'll give the name as a users and here I will write our connection so if you remember this is our connection so just copy this one and paste it here and here we need to use search so here what we'll give so first of all we have to search from where so we are going to use here see OU equal to system and OU equal to users so this thing we have to give here so just come type here OU organization unit equal to users 
then again OU equal to system now we need next parameter like search filter so just copy and paste it here after that we need to use our search control right so once you added three things after that you will see the red color right so that means like it will expecting some kind of exception so I'm just going to declare here naming exception so next one what will happen I'm going to declare one search result search result here keep the name as a result equal to currently it will be null okay now imagine we got all the users here so like imagine we have to currently two users and we got all the two users so how we will get all the things so we need to iterate so I'm going to use here while loop inside that we have to use users dot has more like if it's having more users then we need to get our result and here we need to use users dot next right so after that we need to use typecast right see here right we need to use typecast here once you are done then what we'll do we need one attributes here you can see attributes are there and attribute so we need to use attributes I'm giving the name as ATTR of them and what it will do it will use our result dot get attributes so it will hold our all the outputs so I'm going to print into console attribute dot get so what we need to get first so if you remember we have used CN so I'm going to expect as first we'll get CN right so actually what we have done first of all we have created our connection here next here I'm using search filter so we have to start searching from where which level so I given here like okay go on the basis of object class inet organization person this is our hierarchy and what are the attributes we require like output so currently I'm just required CN after that I created search control in that we have declared like okay go on the basis of subterranean scope after that we have added our returning attributes also after all the things in connection we are using search you can see here search here we are adding our path then our filter then our controls after that we are iterating here so now we need to call this function so just I will go down app dot get all users so here again we need to declare our exception or you can use try catch so I'm currently just going to use throw exception so if you have started your server right then you have to run this one so if you will run you can see here we are getting output as a Smith and Mike so if you just go here CN equal to Mike and CN is a Smith now I need to use here SN also so I will just come and I will declare here as a SN so now I need SN also so definitely I need to again copy paste and I need to give here SN right or if you want you just put here breakpoint so in debug mode you can see what this attributes is holding you can see here this attributes currently hold SN and CN right so you can see here first time it's printed a Smith and Tom so just to go you can see here CN a Smith SN Tom right so next time Mike and John so this is a way to create the function to get all the users so in next tutorial we are going to see how to add new user 
like you can see currently we have two user so in next tutorial we need to add some more user after that in upcoming tutorial we'll also learn like to get the user on the basis of some field like I just need the user those who having CN as a Smith name so please subscribe our channel thank you guys